Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna
जय जगदी जय जगदी जय जगदी जहरे जय सिंह हरे सिंह हरे सिंह हरे जय सिंह हरे सिंहदेव भगवान की जयप्रलाल महाराज की गौरा प्रेम नंदी
Puja of His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami. So thank you very, very much. Now uh, the part of the program that's about to start is the homages. But we would like to start with Jaya Pataka Swami's homage to Srila Prabhupada that he has left etched for the rest of the golden age, 10,000 years. He wrote a beautiful poem and song to Srila Prabhupada. It is called Yadi Prabhupada Nahoito. It is inspired from Yadi Gauda Nahoito, song from one of the Acharyas. And we will sing through it. And before every verse, I'll read the translations so we know what we're singing. It's a very, very beautiful song. Seeing a little bit of the devotion and love that he has for Srila Prabhupada. The, the theme of this song is, what would we do without Srila Prabhupada? And then it keeps on going, explaining what we wouldn't have if it wasn't for Srila Prabhupada. So the way we're going to sing this is we have our dear Uddhava playing guitar, a nice melody. We can do the Sanskrit, it's okay. I'll read it, Damodar. For the first refrain, we're gonna do call and response, you just follow. Then, once, I'm gonna read a translation for the next verse, and then we're gonna go into the second verse and sing it together in the same melody, you can follow. Then we'll go back to the chorus, and we'll sing that twice all together, and then it just follows the same pattern. You'll catch on. It's eight verses. So uh, just give us a moment to start. Jadi Prabhupada Nahoyti. If Srila Prabhupada had not come, what would have happened? How could we have passed our lives? Who else would have distributed the unlimited mercy of Lord Nityananda and Lord Goranga all over the world? Jadi Prabhupada hoy to, tabe ki hoy to, jivana bai ta kise, 
Jadi Prabhu Pada Hoto Jadi Hoto Jivana Baida One more time everybody Jadi Prabhu Pada Hoto person would have endeavored to deliver the miscreants, sinful, impersonalistic, and voidistic people in the West. distribute Harinam to them? Who else would have come forward to transform them into civilized beings? the deity form of Lord Hari day and night with Arati and Kirtan and how to conduct the Rathiyatra and other grand festivals. Rata 
Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, and Chaitanya Charita Amrita contain the essence of the nectarian mellows of love of Godhead. Who else would have explained these scriptures so clearly and beautifully? Gita Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charita, Premamrita Rasa Sara. and distributed Harinam with a pleasant heart. Who would have given us the Dams such as Mayapur, Vrindavan, and Jagannath Puri? auspicious treasure. Who else would have engaged us in constantly practicing and preaching it? Desiring a drop of their mercy, Jai Pataka's heart incessantly takes shelter of your divine grace. One more time. Jadi 
Swami Guru Maharaj Ki Nitai Gaura Premanande Hari 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 Go I may put some people on the spot and please forgive me now but I would like to uh, ask Mother Mukya if you can just give some welcoming words being our captain of the boat of this beautiful community New Raman Reti Dam everybody please give a big Hari Bol to Mother Mukya Hare Krishna. Hare. I'm completely uh, beneath this task of glorifying Jai Takaswami, but Kish asked me a few days ago if I could say a few words. So I, even a few words I have to put down on paper because I, I always have to gather my thoughts. And while I was doing that today, I read something on Facebook that his mother wrote about Srila Prabhupada and I loved it so much being a mother myself. So she said, after not seeing my son for so long and finding him showered with God's blessings at ISKCON with his unusually famous spiritual teacher recognizing his greatness, I became humbled. You take wonderful care of my son. You cleared his brain from materialism's web and elevated his soul. You radiate goodness on everyone you meet. May God bless your body with good health. Hare Krishna. And then she signed it, Mother of Jayapataki. <laughs> so I just thought, you know, um, good mother, good son. This is a very elevated lady to have those realizations about um, her son after seeing him for, you know, for a long time before they were together. And she came to Mayapur and saw him and she, she understood all those things just by um, being there in Mayapur with him. Um, Srila Prabhupada had written to Jayapataka Swami about arranging the cornerstone laying ceremony of Mayapur in 1972. And it was so important to his divine grace that he told Maharaj, this will be a great service to Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur and to his son Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. So please arrange for this program. So keep in mind that Mayapur was just rice fields. There was um, on, only a couple of temples down a single lane road outside of Mayapur. There was nothing there, only a few devotees were there, and everyone was suffer suffering from tropical illnesses constantly. And he had, there was also a very strong political sentiment against foreigners, especially Americans at that time. But Jayapataka Swami just pushed on with so much spiritual strength that few of us will really ever know. Um, we all know so much about his history. Always hold that history in your hearts and in your thoughts. I was thinking how Srila Prabhupada's Vyasa Puja Day, the, favorite, the best part of that day for me is the concentrated meditation on everything Srila Prabhupada did. Everything he sacrificed, everything he accepted and tolerated, all to please his spiritual master and to spread Krishna consciousness. And we were the lucky recipients of that. So you can all do the same thing on Jayapataka Swami's Vyasa Puja Day. He is a very glorious, beloved devotee and guru, and you are also lucky recipients of his mercy. In so many millions of ways over more than 50 years, um, Jayapataka Swami has done the miraculous, all to please his beloved Srila Prabhupada. We can all only pray to have one grain of his dedication, his love, his enthusiasm, his kindness, his patience, and his service attitude. But still, that is something to pray for, just one grain of his qualities. Um, and I will stay personally inspired by him, by great devotees like him, and never take for granted all that they've done. And may Lord Krishna bless him more and more in the 75th year and all the years to come. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
So next, uh, Vridhananda Das Goswami, he shared a video. He wanted to uh, share uh, a glorification in some words. He couldn't make it, so he sent a video this morning. We would like to uh, hear what he has to say. To speak a few words on my dear God, Brother Jayapataka Maharaj. He is a unique saint in the on earth, actually, at the present time. In the movement of Prabhupada, Prabhupada's movement, Dorni Thai, Radha Krishna, they've manifested the Sankirtan movement on earth. And Jayapataka Maharaj is undoubtedly one of the most. Uh, uh, preachers of Krishna consciousness, as we know, he has helped thousands and thousands of devotees in his role as a spiritual master. He's preached around the world, and all the while uh, maintaining a strict practice of Krishna consciousness. I don't know anyone who is more. Constantly absorbed in the ocean of service. In the life of Jayapataka Maharaj, he is always thinking of devotional service. And his only activity is to serve Prabhupada, founder Acharya, through preaching and spreading Krishna consciousness. So he is a very special soul, an exalted soul. And uh, I consider myself very fortunate that on his birthday I can participate and uh, and speak some of his glories. So thank you for this opportunity. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So last year, uh, some of the Prabhupada disciples requested that for the next Vyasa Puja, if we can hear from some of the disciples of Jayapataka Swami. So I would like to ask Janeshwar Goranga Prabhu if you can share an offering. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pistaya Pane Shimati Jayapataka Swami Kunamini. Namaste Saraswati Devi Gora Rani Pachani Nirvi Shesha Shunyama the Pastya Devi Satani Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advita Nadadara Shivasadi Gora Bhaktaminda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Thank you, devotees. Please accept my most humble obeisances on the lotus feet. I'm very humble. I have a short, uh, short uh, Vyaspuja offering, but uh, with a lot of dedication. And I wrote this uh, uh, offering on March 11th because we had to submit it online in time for it to be published. So I'll just read this short one. Dearest Guru Maharaj, Please accept my most respectful obeisances in the dust of your lotus feet on this, your 75th Vyas Puja celebration. All glories to your divine grace. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. I would like to start my homage by thanking you from the bottom of my heart for accepting me as your disciple in 2009 in Atlanta during the Paniati festival. Over the years, I've had ups and downs in my spiritual life, but you have always been there for me. Your continued mercy and shelter has been my hope and protection for my spiritual life. I can't thank you enough for this, and I will be ever indebted you, to you for this. Although you have faced many physical challenges, you continue to help your spiritual master, His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada, to push forward this movement of Lord Chaitanya. At the same time, you continue to save countless jivas from the miseries of this material world by accepting them as your disciples and giving them shelter at your lotus feet. Taking on the karma of thousands of jivas has adversely affected your health. But what to do? You embodied the mercy of Gornitai, 
and as such bestowed his mercy upon anyone without making any distinctions of qualification as long as one desires it. All this is because we are Nithai Kripa. Guru Maharaj, I want to be a source of eternal pleasure to you. We all know that to please you, we should assist you in whatever way it is possible in your service to Shri Prabhupada. In the following ways. Together with my wife, Prasanna Chitra Devidasi, we regularly hold Namahatas in our residence, the home of Nitai Sundra, our beloved deities. We also go on a monthly Harinam program and try to induce the general masses to take up Krishna consciousness. We distribute good luck cards. These cards have a picture of Radha Krishna in the front. On the back is the Maha Mantra and a brief description of the benefit of chanting Hare Krishna. We also participate in book distribution. We just had a book event this past Saturday at a yoga expo. We have all another book event coming up this next weekend. We will, share, we will share pictures and videos of these events in a separate email. Dear Guru Maharaj, on behalf of myself, my wife Prasanna Chitra, my sons Nimai and Nitai, I beg you to bless us so that we can serve you nicely to your full satisfaction. Please forgive this fallen disciple of yours for all my offenses. If you forgive me, then Gaur Nitai will certainly forgive me. You are my only hope, dear Guru Maharaj, so please help me. Your most insignificant disciple, Janesha Gorangadas. It is very appropriate that in Janesh Goranga Prabhu's offering that he's giving a report of his activities because His Holiness Jai Pataka Swami, he requests all of his disciples to send video reports or reports and actually I've seen it myself um, when he eats prasadam, they put up the TV and then he'll see video reports of his disciples while he's honoring prasadam of the different preaching activities that are happening. And uh, w one other uh, pastime that I remember, or just like an interaction, it was soon after his stroke, it was one of his first public uh, talks, and it was in Mayapur next to the Conch building. And, you know, uh, one of the disciples asked, you know, Guru Maharaj, what can I do Can you give me an instruction? Is there anything that I can do for you? And so there was a, a long pause. And because I know that Shilap, uh, when, when Guru Maharaj, when Jai Pataka Swami, if you ever ask him personally, please give me some type of instruction, he says, help me fulfill Shilap Prabhupada's uh, instructions to me. And then, okay, what, what may that be? And then his secretary gives you a link and you click in the link and it's all of Srila Prabhupada's instructions to Jai Pataka Swami. And some of the instructions are baffling. They're, 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 it's almost like there's no end to the instruction. So he, Srila Prabhupada has blessed Jai Pataka Swami to empower many disciples or to engage many disciples or devotees in service to Srila Prabhupada and to uh, Guru Parampara, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, There was a long pause, and he said, actually, you can help me fulfill my order, my, my instructions, sorry, uh, the orders that I received from Srila Prabhupada, but giving direct instruction is, is tricky because I don't want you to commit Guru Apara because maybe some enthusiastic person wants to do something please give me and then you give and then you don't do you can commit Guru Apara so he said it's better that you follow the four regular principles chant your 16 rounds and, and if you can please help me fulfill my orders to, to Srila Prabhupada and of course there is definitely instances when he gives direct instruction um, for specific projects or specific uh, goals but in general that was his response and it, and it made sense so I just wanted to share that you, your offering reminded me of those things thank you very much Puri. Uh, the next person I would like to invite to speak is uh, Jai Pataka Swami's God sister, Mother Hari Puja.
Hare Krishna. So previous to the 1970s, Jaipataka Maharaj was Jaipataka at the time, and he was in Canada. We met him when he had already just moved to Mayapur in the early days when there was partial building and with no windows and a cottage that Prabhupada often referred to because the cottage toward the front of the property but on a little pathway was the very first building that they established when the land was bought. And I don't get to do it every year, but I did today. I read about three-fourths of the letters that Prabhupada wrote to Jaipataka Maharaj that were in the letters books. And I understood how how intimate of a relationship that Prabhupada offered to Jaipataka Maharaj. He did give him so many instructions because he was obviously training him up. And as you will see by a few quotes that I um, wanted to share, he was training him up to build the biggest center that we have. And he wanted him to not miss anything that he wanted to um, him to understand, whether it was accounting or buying land or not trusting the persons who are selling the cement to you. Prabhupada taught him all of it. And I remember in the beginning, Prabhupada said, don't waste your time learning Bengali. This was before he had even mentioned to Prabhupada that he wanted to go to India. But Prabhupada said, but if you have spare time and that's how you want to use it, then that's fine. But then later, when Maharaj did move to India, um, he said that's normal that everyone um, who comes here wants to speak the language because then you understand them better and they understand you better. So, in 1970, Jaipataka Maharaj was in Canada and he was doing similar things that he would be doing in, Indi in India in, in the future, like within two years. Getting books printed, getting a BTG published in French. And Prabhupada wrote to him, regarding our books, yes, they are being printed in our press and they will come out very shortly. The books are being written specifically for my students, and I am so glad to learn that you read them so carefully. The words are ambrosial because they are not my personal words. They are instructions of my predecessors, and I am just trying to administer them to my best knowledge. That is the way of the Parampara system. We have nothing to manufacture but simply carry the message as a faithful peon. That will be effective. One should be very sincere to his spiritual master and Krishna simultaneously. Then everything comes out successful. That is the verdict of the Vedas and Lord Chaitanya. Hope this will meet you in good health. Besides that, you make arrangements that you can remain not for some months in India, but for some years. We have got a great deal of work to do there. So in the beginning, I was cooking. So there is no objection to take from the spiritual master. It is a question of love. Sometimes I cook, you eat. And sometimes you cook, I eat. Our Krishna consciousness movement is based on complete fellow feeling and love. There is a word, maryada, which means respect, which should always be offered to the spiritual master and elderly men members. This is still 1970. Kindly keep me informed of your activities twice a week. Otherwise, I become very anxious and due to high blood pressure, sometimes do not eat and do not sleep. 
I am just trying to organize a worldwide movement, not for any personal ambition, but to execute superior orders. By the grace of Krishna, we are getting good encouragement that this is happening. So I request my students, please cooperate fully. And then in August 70, I hope the Mayapur land purchase is by this time completed. And in your first previous letter, you wrote that if I am present there, it will be done immediately. Also, for this purpose, I am coming to Calcutta. <laughs> for purchasing the Mayapur land, so Prabhupada's writing in a letter, he's referring to, you could say, it's some of the very first accounting from Mayapur that they sent him the books. And he said, for purchasing the Mayapur land, I issued one check for rup rupees $18,000. And in those days, that means 18,000 rupees, I'm sorry. And in those days, 1971, that meant $1,357. So these are the first three checks that were written to purchase the land in Mayapur. And the land is called a biga, and a biga is about 1.6 acre. Um, 1.6 bigas equals one acre. So they were buying portions of land at a time, and then they would negotiate with another landowner and buy that portion, and it went on and on. So Srila Prabhupada wanted to teach them the proper way to do business with the land dealers, and he was also um, confirming that he received the, you know, their accounting. Regarding the Mayapur flood, you have not mentioned the depth of the water on our land and the condition of our cottage there. Please let me know. So this is the very beginning of Mayapur, and Srila Prabhupada is so concerned, even for that little cottage. It's just so personal. I, I, I'm just very moved by Prabhupada's exactness with Maharaj. Purchase adjacent land, if available and at a reasonable price. We have got a heavy task before us. Together, we have to push on this Krishna consciousness movement for a revolutionary change all over the world. It is not our manufactured movement, but was ordered by Lord Sri Chaitanya, and we are simply carriers of his shoes. If you make Mayapur a first-class temple, there will be no lack of visitors for preaching. You will never even have to leave that place for preaching. And if you serve nice prasad, the whole of India will come. So stick to our principles very rigidly, and everyone will come, especially to see those American Vaishnavas. Letter from Srila Prabhupada, and this is my ending letter. Thank you for your Vyas Puja homage, reading as follows. To save the world and serve the Lord, he left his home and his children too. Some children lost, some thousands gained. Krishna's mercy received with world God consciousness. The aim, his divine grace, bridges the gap to bless the world with Gora Prem. Jai Pitaka's life is not his own. It's Prabhupada's to do with as his own. Hari Pop. So we love hearing from uh, Guru Maharaj's god brothers and god sisters, but because you've requested, I'm going to play a little game here and try to get as many disciples, you know, back and forth with Prabhupada disciples and disciples. So I would kindly like to ask Avaduta Prabhu to please share some words.
Por favor, please repeat lo, lo que voy a decir. Could you repeat what I'm about to say? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Cuando mi Guru Mahal me veía. Abandu Tanita. When my Guru Maharaj used to see me, he always would see me. Cargado. I would look at me and he used to hug me and raise me on his arms. Eh, Drogicar, I know it's just, for me, very, very difficult. A spiritual master for me is very difficult. Todo el mundo tiene esa belleza. Everybody has that beauty. That he, uh, they have an association with my Guru. Todo el mundo, todos hemos visto. Everybody has seen ah, su bondad, su corazón, his que no tiene ninguna heart, pizca de modalidades de la naturaleza material. And, uh, no, uh, contact with material Siempre está su, su acto de servir. He's always uh, serving. Cambia la vida de los demás. He's trying to always change people's en todo life. Todo lo que puede hacer con, con cada alguien. Obviamente, yo tuve esa oportunidad I had the opportunity de experimentar to experiment, uh, ese corazón. The heart, yeah. Siempre, he always, constantemente estaba pendiente de mi, de mi persona, always, uh, de mi familia. Present on my family, of what's going on in my life. Siempre estaba en ese cuidado. He always took y así está en el cuidado de todo el mundo. He always takes care of everybody. Siempre es una belleza para mí. He, that's the beauty of my spiritual master. Gracias. Rebo. Thank you very much. Avaduta Nita is a Prabhu is a senior disciple of His Holiness Jai Pataka Swami and also uh, like a pillar of this community. Let's give him one more Haribo. <laughs> now I would like to ask uh, Achutananda Prabhu to please come up. Haribo. Achutananda Prabhu spent a lot of time in Mayapur. <laughs> For, for all of the disciples, Jai Pataka Maharaj is, is Sakshat Hari, he is His Holiness, but he was my buddy. <laughs> So I might say things that may sound familiar, but that doesn't, you know. When his mother came, and Mookie mentioned uh, Jai Pataka's mother came. Uh, let me back up. Uh, in 1970, Prabhupada came to Calcutta, and he had given sannyas to eight gentlemen, and um, whenever I see Jai Pataka, he reminds me that we took sannyas together in uh, Calcutta in 1970. Because I wanted to take some, you know, I wanted to preach in South India. In South India, you have to present yourself as a sannyasi. So I said, uh, I would like to preach in South India to the Prabhupada to, uh, in the form of a sannyasi. And he said, and Jai Pataka too. So we took, we got our dundas uh, and made them up. And Jai Pataka's mind is so, and is still technical. These strokes and so on, that's physical. His mind and intelligence is most analytical. Because he always re reminds me that when we took sannyas, Prabhupada gave my danda first, and then eight seconds later, he gave it to Jai Pataka. So I always remind him, that means I'm eight seconds superior to you. <laughs> I'm your, your elder. So I was the ninth and he's the tenth. And even when his mother came, 
like I said, uh, he's my friend, and he's her son, so she called him Jay. She didn't call him His Holiness. And she had the same analytical mind. You know what they talked about? They talked about reinforced concrete. They talked, to, they talked about weight loading per, per cubic inch. See, and what, what about this and that? And what about the buildings? Oh, yes, I am. I got uh, Jai Pataka his first favorite weapon, his whompers. By, by accident. He was mad at me, but he was still in, Can in Canada, and he ordered, again, the analytical mind, he ordered, uh, I want cartels this size and this many centimeters and this many pumper liters and this weight and this many, and, and, and uh, so many inches, and he had around four, four pairs of that, and, and then one of them was so many centimeters. Well, in 1969, Nabadweep, they, they didn't make cartels by precise measurement, and there was no quality control. If you wanted a pair of uh, cartels, you'd have to look at 12 to get a match for one pair. So, uh, so he wrote one of these centimeters and millimeters and millimeters thick thickness and was like this. So I'm in the Navadwi cartel shop, brass walla, pital walla, and I saw these whoppers. So I put that in the package, sent it there, and he wrote back, you have cheated me, I've never seen cartels like this. <laughs> But it became his favorite instrument. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I did something good there. For, and then for my other shot. Sadhu Sangye, Sadhu Sangye, Sadhu Vishasra Kai. Labha Matra Sadhu Sangye, Sadhu Siddhi Kai. So yeah, we bought the land from Jabadali Shak. Yeah, there was a flood. I built the, the Kuti. Prabhupada told me how to build the kutu. He knew, he knew the precise uh, ratio of sand to cement. He told me four to one cement to build up a, a brick foundation, brick foundation and then bamboo and grass. And we had all these, um, the Muslim uh, craftsmen, artisans come in to build it. One time, how much time do I have? Two hours, okay. So, um, so, like one, the Muslim's nickname for me was Ek, Ek Katalog. Ek Katalog means he says something once. That's it, that was my nickname. So one, there was one Muslim craftsman who was, he had a big bamboo, uh, Log about eight feet long, and he was cutting it, cutting it for like three days. I said, "He got you. I got to have to somewhere. What are you doing for so much time? Tell me, boss, you know, I'm not just sitting." And what he did was he shaved and split this bamboo into a wall, and that, and he made four walls for Prabhupada's latrine, his outhouse. It was beautiful. So. Um, the flood, yeah. How high was the flood? I don't know. We had a three-foot plinth, then about uh, seven feet bamboo, and then the thatching. So the door was about uh, up to about where the, the transit is. You had to swim under the door to get under and up into the attic. So that's how and it was a man-made thing, because they had to release uh, the dams up above. Jai Pataka uh, saw in, out in the, in the paddy fields, the rice fields, uh, they were about this high, uh, you know, three feet high before uh, fructifying. And above that was a king cobra. So imagine how long it was. And then it would disappear. So it was about, you know, 50 yards out. Then it came up again. It was about 30 yards. <laughs> 
morning, and then it came up again, and we had shotguns, and Jerry Padaka blew his head off. <laughs> and we measured it, it was uh, something like this long, King Kong. And he makes some comments, and then it'll refresh my mind. Any question? No, so we'll go to the next. Thank you so much. Gaur Premanandi. <laughs> So we're yanking my father out of the kitchen so he can share his offering. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize all my God brothers and disciples of Srila Prabhupada and uh, no present living entities, even in Sorol Bari, for any offenses committed. So I can perform Harinam constantly. Um, anyway, I wrote a, a little red letter to Guru Maharaj. Dear Guru Maharaj, all glories and all glories to your divine lotus feet. Guru Maharaj, thank you for giving yourself 150% to all the world. Your fame is already spreading amongst all the planetary systems. And as an intimate associate of Lord Goranga, your mood of compassion and magnanimity is for many our inspiration to continue in this war against Maya. You are the personification of surrendering to the orders of the Guru. On this blissful day that the Lord has provided us, I personally like to thank you forever for saving me from my mundane false identification and allow me to be a das, an instrument of your service to the Lordship and humanity. Guru Maharaj, your pastimes are unconceivable. We are witnessing what a lila life by seeing your divine qualities in action. Guru Maharaj, in any condition you persevere because of your unflinching love to Sila Prabhupada and his beloved Ishkun. Please instill in us that unflinching determination to serve Sila Prabhupada Lotus feet every day better. Guru Maharaj, I remember in your hearing my house shedding tears of happiness for Srila Prabhupada's Bhaktivedanta Manor victory in the Supreme Court. So many pastimes you perform here because of your lilas here in New Godrum Dui. Anybody that touches this land becomes favorable to Krishna's love and have a change in their hearts. We bring in friends from Orlando to do camping and they, then visit the temple. After doing bhajans over a one fire and a trip to the spring, some of them have moved here and taken Krishna consciousness seriously. All that is your potency, because wherever you place your lotus feet becomes a place of pilgrimage. I hope next time you visit New Ramana Reti, we can indulge in Goralila again, again and again, Guru Maharaj. Thank you for saving me and giving me your attention from youth to now in the shadows of old age. Please forgive me all my offenses and please allow me to become a sadaka so I can obtain some strength to take the holy name around. Your servant, Pramananda Goldas. And uh, let, let's add an Haribo to continue his encouragement. My father has been cooking four days a week for all the devotees every morning. Just with the enthusiasm of his heart, he's just... Doesn't want to let that save go. I'm, I'm, I'm following Shanka Prabhu. I hope I can make it to 70 something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd like to kindly ask Mother Ruchira if you can share some words. I don't know how many of you have this book or seen it, but um, Jaibhutaka Swami translated it and gave the um, poor ports. And reading it, I've been reading it lately, and it's so amazing. It's like a, a view of his heart and mind because it's Bhaktivinoda Thakur's Namahata program, and he explains in detail you know, what a preacher should be like and do and how the Namahata should be set up. 
And um, it's so amazing. You can see how he, that is what he's been doing, is setting up these namahata, like Bhaktivinoda Thakur had asked. And um, there was one bit of a purport that I um, read, and I thought it was so amazing. The whole book is amazing, but um, he says, now in ISKCON, we are trying to reestablish this Namahata program. By the mercy of Srila Prabhupada and the previous Acharyas, we are achieving some success. More and more people are adopting the process of Krishna consciousness. Later on, Bhaktivinoda Thakur mentions Christian missionaries who come to India and try to convert everybody. How? how they are paid a salary, that their activities are not selfless, and therefore their work is not truly auspicious. For the benefit of the world, Bhaktivinoda Thakur describes that Lord Nityananda's Namhata is of a different nature. His preachers of the holy name carry the Lord's message from village to village in a selfless, dedicated manner, preaching and fulfilling the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And I thought it really exemplifies Maharaj. I remember the first, um, his Vyas Puja in Mayapur that I was there. And I could not believe, I came to the morning program and it was packed with villagers from all over that he had been preaching to. And they were coming, there were mothers and fathers and grandmothers and children and it was a whole tent. It's kind of like in Mayapur right before Gaur Purnima also, a tent city around. But this was for his, his Yas Puja and the whole place was covered with, with people and tents and devotees lying in the, in the park and all over and it was just so amazing and they had come just for Maharaj's preaching, you know, his setting up the Namahata, and I just have to offer my obeisances um, that he's taken up Srila Prabhupada's mission wholeheartedly. So, Jai Pataka Swami Ki Jai. Thank you so much, Mother Richira. Thank you. I'd like to invite Uddhava Pran Prabhu to share something. Jai. Now I'm Vishnu Padai Krishna Snaya Bhutale Srimati Jai Pitaka Swamiti Namine Namo Achiya Padai Nita Kripa Padai Nita Gora Kata Damadaya Nagararam um, well, we'll just uh, probably share some um, experiences that I have with my spiritual master. Since Kishore brought the attention with uh, Prabhu, his name, what's his name? No, well, oh, my mega brother, who first spoke, coming to the Guru Aparada thing, actually happened to me. I just want to share something that he has in my mind for all these years. Like, first time I went to Mayapur, um, he said in Spanish, Bienvenido. And he had so many God brothers were with him on the program in my but Anyway, just after six months, um, my visa was going to expire. And uh, I didn't know what to do. So I followed him to Calcutta. And then I didn't know what to tell him that I wanted to leave India. <laughs> He had in mind that whenever some devotees come and uh, he wanted us to stay there to learn preaching or playing Mridanga or reading Bhagavatam. Anyway, after, um, you know, he was there in Calcutta, Trisilva Road Temple, he was sitting there and I was trying to tell him that I have to go. And then he just was reading Bhagavatam and then he keeps staring at me and then after like every 10, 15 minutes he went down again reading his books. So then finally he says, what do you need? What do you want? I said, I have to go. Uh, Guru Maharaj, my visa is going to expire. 
See, I didn't know that he was conscious during the festival. And that um, he said, you spend three months in Brindav and, and he didn't send me a letter, didn't give me a call. And now you come with the problem to f for me to fix you. <laughs> so, so I said, but I didn't know. I mean, it's, um, I have to go, Guru Maharaj. And then he just said that and then again went to back reading. And it spent like a, another half an hour. And then he said, you know the Prabhupada wanted for us Westerners to come here, learn the philosophy, you know, go on preaching, taking nice prashan, enjoy the festivals. And then I said, look, Brother Maharaj, I have a chicken. I didn't get the chicken pox totally, but uh, some devotees of that year got chicken pox really badly. And I was kind of assisting one, especially one Colombian devotee. And I was giving him prashan, blah, blah. But anyway, my legs were like swollen. And uh, I said, Guru Maharaj, look at my legs. I can't even walk. And then he keeps, keeps preaching to me. I said, but you should have got to the doctor in Mayapur. I said, they didn't say. I said, I was kind of arguing. And uh, uh, he said, um, but you should have got to the doctor and asked them for some medicine. I said, I tried, but then nobody gave me anything. I was kind of you know, trying just to leave my, uh, actually live in India, and then he said, show me your passport. <laughs> of course. Mm -hmm. And then he said, your visa's not expiring yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're lying to me. <laughs> oh, I didn't know what to say, I mean. <laughs> but it was, uh, but anyway, after, um, like, Kish went through the past time, like, Kind of, I would say not commit uh, guru apparat, but I was kind of like ignorant, like a young guy at the time, you know, probably 20, 21 years old. And then he again said, you know, I think you should go back to Mayapur, enjoy the festivals, stay with us. And actually, you know, he didn't, he didn't get mad with me, but I, he was very, very um, compassionate. And uh, he just gave me a blessing, and I ended up staying four years in India. So, yeah, Guru Maharaj, Kija. Thank you so much. <laughs> like to hear these uh, pastimes. So uh, I want to hear one from New Taliban that Loka Priya is super excited to share. So if you can please uh, come and share. New Taliban is a place close to my heart. That's where I was born. Shushi Radha Radha Kanta Ki Jai. Now they're building a new beautiful temple. Jai Guru Dev. Hare Krishna everybody. As you guys can tell to my voice, I'm feeling so nervous. I was telling him I wasn't sure if I could be able to do this. But here I am. Um, I remember in 2005, that's when I met um, Guru Maharaj. And I remember after the morning offering, we had Ketan, and we were all sitting to have our breakfast together. And uh, we were asking him a question, and uh, we were talking about everything. And I remember him, told, he looked at me and told my accent, he asked me right away in French, parlez-vous français? And I was like, oui, oui, go <laughs> So, and then him and I, we started to talk, speak in French, and then I was like, oh my God. That moment, I knew then, you know, Guru Maharaj had a special place in my heart. I fell in love with him. I was like, I found my spiritual master. No need to look further. This is, that's him, it's right there. So I asked him, why did you learn French? He was like, well, he was in Canada for some years, and that's how we learned how to speak French. And then that, since then, I was just like, oh my God, I cannot believe this. <laughs> so, and then to, uh, the following year, I took my first initiation with Guru Maharaj, and I remember him um, before even meeting him until the following years afterwards. I, um, he was telling us the story how New Taliban is the only Iskan temple that he will visit, that we will have typical American food 
for him. Like when I said to you, I'm looking forward, we have uh, homegrown uh, potatoes and fresh tomatoes and lettuce to the garden. So whenever he will come and visit in Taliban, we'll go to the garden and pick up all these vegetables and, you know, we'll cut them up as like potatoes, the French fry size and fry them and we'll make our own homemade ketchup and we'll slide the tomatoes and we'll have the fresh lettuce and just like pack everything together. We'll make the uh, buns and uh, the curd from the cows and uh, we'll make it look like yeah, veggie burgers, like the American food. So he always liked to share with, you, with us that New Taliban was the only place that he will eat American food. <laughs> so I just want to share with you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Happy to see you. I'd like to ask Adi Karta Prabhu if you'd like to share a few words. One of the instructions Srila Prabhupada gave Jaya Pataka Swami was, is to distribute 10,000 big books a month and 100,000 small books every month. And I, I mean, he gave this to him while Srila Prabhupada was still on this planet and he would try to use so many different ways namahatas and go do pandal programs and this and that and currently he's still trying to uh, get that instruction and he, he sometimes reaches it but it, through help he has a virtual book table and he's uh, utilizing assistance and, and, and disciples in order to fulfill that order of Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada key, book distribution key. Hare Krishna. <laughs> So Jai Pataka Maharaj, <clears throat> he's a real uh, hero in our movement and he's an uh, extremely uh, determined person. He's had his fair share of physical uh, challenges, we could say, even uh, I was living at Bhaktivedanta Manor in London and he got attacked by somebody at the airport. I don't know why anybody would attack a great devotee, but in this material world you never know what's going to happen. And then, of course, he had his stroke. And I think this, maybe it's, uh, maybe I'm speculating, but the Guru has to take the reactions of the disciples if they don't follow properly. So just imagine if you go to a football game, uh, like at the University of Florida, you see how many people are there uh, maybe a hundred thousand, so he's got almost as many disciples and he's got to take all the karma. That's quite something to think about if you see how many people are there. And this is the sign of somebody who's very compassionate, that they're willing to put their life in danger for the sake of uh, helping other people. <clears throat> Because, you know, Krishna consciousness is the topmost lifestyle. But you never know what's going to happen. And whatever happens, and we have to be prepared, all of us, to follow his example. Because he's been through so many health challenges, but he's never wavered. He's always been completely fixed in trying to fulfill Srila Prabhupada's order. So we will have our challenges, all of us, because if we want to be devoters, we get tests. <laughs> so he's had plenty of tests, but he's always never flinched, and he's always been extremely enthusiastic. Srila Prabhupada gave him the service of, the lifetime service of running the Bhaktivedanta Swami Charity Trust which is a, an organization that helps save, revive, protect holy places in, in the Mayapur area. So that was a lifetime service. He stuck to that service. He's still very involved in the preaching uh, of Srila Prabhupada's movement. And uh, I think we should try to see his life as an example Srila Prabhupada said that his Guru Maharaj sent some of his disciples to help preach Krishna consciousness. <clears throat> so we know that, you know, somebody who takes up Krishna consciousness is carrying on from their last life. Not always, but 
we can see with Jay Patakamoji, he immediately surrendered. He immediately took sannyas. He immediately took the order of Shiva Prabhupada on his head and stayed in Mayapur. And uh, Mayapur is such a huge uh, project now and always increasing, always expanding. So Shri, um, Jai Pataka Maharaj has a, gets a lot of credit for that and always trying to spread Krishna consciousness without whatever his personal problem is, whatever suffering he goes through. So I think he's a great example of a great devotee and extremely merciful and uh, he's helped so many of us have uh, uh, an example of somebody to follow. So Hare Krishna, Jai Pataka Mahaki Jai. Thank you so much. Dr. Shreya, would like to share a few words. We went on a South Indian safari and Dr. Shreya got to uh, spend time with Jai Pataka Swami on the safari before his stroke. And uh, you know, I grew up with Guru Maharaj in my life. I, I you know, I, I always kind of knew I was going to take initiation from him. But and then all of a sudden, like one year, Dada comes back from Mayapur of Gorpunim and he's like, got initiated by Jai Pataka Swami <laughs> before me. So it was my senior god brother. <laughs> well, his, his, his sister-in-law is actually younger than me, but she's my older sister, so... <laughs> um, um, I had so many nice memories, and um, it's weird because I'm talking, but I, I'm hearing my dad, which is weird, but um, it was so nice to see Jabataka Swami here. Most of the time when I'm hanging out with Jabataka Swami is with, with these guys at, at their house or, you know, growing up here. And um, it was just nice to go in India with these guys and travel with him, stay with him, and then seeing Jabataka Swami in India, South, Safari, South India Safari, and like, he was so nice, so merciful. I mean, plenty of, plenty of times I was ready to quit doing summer trips, but I did it because I'm with these guys and with John Pataka Swami, they asked me, oh yeah, help me take care of the youth. So like, I kind of always felt like, okay, I had a little like special in instruction and um, it was so nice to see like, even after he had a stroke, like any kind of difficulty I had, he was pushing through like 10,000 times more and I'm like, what excuse do I have, you know? So like, it always inspires me to like, continue on, even though life's hard, so, you know? <laughs> so, let's try to talk to some of you. Jai. Jai. We have time for one more, and I was requested to ask Madhu Hari Prabhu. Madhu Hari Prabhu, uh, I was told he's a big distribu book distributor from back in the day, and continues to, yes? <laughs> So we'll have translation. Um, Hare Krishna. Um, una de las cosas que me llamó la atención my attention de los devotos about the devotees era su gran eh, su, su distinguida personalidad was the distinguished personality that they had. Eh, cada devoto tenía uh, características has muy particulares. Particular uh, characteristics. Después pude entender que los devotos es, están llenos that de that cualidades. They were full of good qualities. Hay hasta listas de cualidades. There are, there is a list of qualities of devotees. Y uno puede ver que, el, que esas cualidades you están presentes en los devotees. Are present in the devotees. No. Uh, por ejemplo, For instance, sama, dama, tapa, saucham, shanti, arjavam, etc. Cualidades que qualities that uh, devotees have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y eh, cuando conocí a mi maestro espiritual, Jaya Pataka Maharaj, Maharaj eh, 
yo quería ver esas cualidades en él I to see those in him. y me, me quedaba observando and I used to observe him, analyze him. y veía que I él tenía to todas esas cualidades he muchas had all cualidades. Those qualities and many more. Y, y en especial yo quiero hablar de una and cualidad que, I want to talk of one of them. que es la cualidad de, de he la a, he has the of, él, él atiende he, especialmente a cada persona he takes, he attends or he takes care personally of each and every one cuando todos están cansados when everyone is tired él está atendiendo a he's, he's taking care of asking the devotees a, como con toda Baduta, ¿no? Like a Baduta was telling. Eh, entonces este yo pude ver so eso que I was able to see that por ejemplo Peru, él, él en, en Perú que es un gran país in muy Peru, grande that is a big yatra that he used to preach I mean he still preaches sí él él eh, no solo se quedaba en la capital city, sino que él fue a, a pueblos muy lejanos villages, a ver a los devotos a ver a sus discípulos the the temples, the administration. y me pareció eso que es una cualidad eh, me, that is very, um, que podemos tomar de Jayapataka Mara Uh, de a todas las personas que se acercan a la conciencia de Cristo uh, uh, atenderlas con amor we should take care of them with love and affection. y ver su, su evolución yo soy muy agradecido con mi maestro espiritual I'm very thankful with my spiritual master, porque él siempre estuvo pendiente de, de always, mí he was been ayudándome, care of me. ayudándome a, he was a seguir me to follow entusiasmándome the principles or the Christian consciousness and use me uh, Así que, so, bueno, quiero recordar esa cualidad y, quality, y agradecer mucho por eso. And be thankful for that, for him, on that. Thank you. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. That reminds me, uh, in pre, pre-stroke, when Guru Maharaj visited Alacho, one time his disciples arranged for him to go to different houses, like, a, like Parikram, to meet the devotees, the deities in the houses, and they ended up arranging 18 houses in one day. And um, by about like the 12th house, like some of the, the person who arranged it was like, I'm tapping out. You know, I have to go to rest, and he was, Guru Maharaj goes, but you arranged it. <laughs> If it's hard for me, then what, well, hard for you. Why are you arranging it for me? And they were like, and he goes, so how many houses we have left? There's six more. And he's like, I think we can do it. You know? <laughs> and uh, I remember we, we followed him from early morning to late night in different houses. And um, something else that, that uh, Prabhuji said uh, that reminded me of something. Anyways, maybe it will come, but I'll just take that within my heart because we have concluded the part of sharing. I know so many more of you could share wonderful pastimes or uh, glorifications or appreciations. Thank you very, very much. Uh, the, the rest of the evening will follow as, as such. Uh, we're going to do Pushpanjali. Uh, I'll, I'll announce it. We're going to do Pushpanjali and then uh, we're going to do Guru, uh, Guru Puja, Gora Arti, and then Prashadam is at 7 o'clock. Um, when we serve Prashadam, on the other side of the pavilion is for Prabhupada disciples. And then the, the side closest to us is going to be for everybody else. Once all the Prabhupada disciples have gotten their prashadam and the line opens up, then we can use both lines. Is that, is that understood from all of the other devotees? And also, we do need extra hands, God brothers and God sisters. We would like to serve all the devotees here. Uh, one of... <coughs> Uh, Guru Maharaj's greatest pleasures is when his disciples serve his God brothers. 
every Gorpurnim in the evening. Uh, Jai Pataka Swami, he arranges a wonderful dinner where we get to serve all of his God brothers and God sisters. And that is one of the most important savers for him on Gorpurnim Day. And it gives him so much joy. So please, let's come together. And uh, we need volunteers for serving Prashadam. We also have to leave the kitchen cleaner than we saw it. So uh, we also need help for that. Uh, and um, when we were doing Puspanjali and Guru Puja, if the devotees, if you can please leave, give space for the Prabhupada disciples so they can get close to Srila Prabhupada, we'll have an Arti of Srila Prabhupada and Jai Pataka Swami happening at the same time. So if everyone, uh, one big Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Prabhupada Ki, Jai Pataka Swami Guru Maharaj Ki, Nitai Gaura Premanandi. Now we'll kindly ask Radhika Raman Prabhu to lead us in Puspanjali and everyone please stand. Flower petals. In the meanwhile, we can start. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Sri Mate Jaya Pataka Acharya Padaya Nitai Kripa Pradayine Gaura Katha Dhamadhaya Nagare Grama Tarine Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Itinamine Namaste Sarasati Deve Gauravani Pacharine Nirvishesha Sunnavade Pashatta Deshatarine Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Sri Mate Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Tinamine Sri Barsubhanu Bidevi Doitaya Kripabdaya Krishna Sambandha Bhigana Daine Prabhupai Namaha Madhuru Jodjalope Madhya Sri Rupanuga Bhaktida Sri Gaura Karuna Shakti Vigahaya Namastute Namaste Gauravani Sri Murtai Dinatarine Sri Rupanuga Birudhapa Aposiddhanta Dharine Nama Gaurakisharaya Sakshat Bhairagga Murtaye Vipralamba Sambhode Ajambu Jayate Namaha Nama Bhakti Vinadaya Satchidananda Namine Gaura Shakti Sarupaya Rupanuga Barayate 
श्री गौरव आविर्भाव भूमिस्त निर्देश सज्जना प्रिया वैष्णव सार्वभौम श्री जगन्नाथ ये नम कल्पतरुभ कृपा सिंधु पतिता पावने वैष्णवे नमो नम नमो महावदनाय कृष्ण प्रेम पदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम्ने गौरवी से नम पंचतत्मक भक्तूपस्वूपक भक्तवतारंग भक्ताख्या नमा भक्तशक्ति हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दिन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका का राधाकांत नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी विश्वानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय जयतांशुरत पंगुमंगर मतर्गते मत्सर्वस्व पदम भुज राधा मदन मोहन दिव्यदिंदरण कल्पदुमाद श्रीमद्रात रत्नागर सिंहासनस्थ श्री श्री राधाशील गोविंद देव पिष्ठाली विषेब मान शरामी श्रीमान राशरशरंबी वंशी बट तटस्थित कर्षण बेनु शनर गोपी गोपीनाथ शिष न जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नम ओम विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते जय पताका स्वामी नामिने नम आचार्य पदाय निताय कृपा पदायिने गौरकथाधाम धाय नगर ग्राम तारिने पुष्पाजलि नम ओ विष्णुपदाय विष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते जय पताका स्वामी नामिने नम आचार्य पदाय निताय कृपा प्रदायिने कथा धाम धाय नगर ग्राम तारिने पुष्पाजलि
नमः ओ विष्णु पदाया विष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते जयपताका स्वामी इतिनामिने नमः आचार्य पदाया नितायक्रिपा प्रदायिने गौरकथा धामधाया नगर ग्राम तारिने पुष्पांजलिशन संसर दावो नलली दलोका प्राणया कारुन्य गनगनातम Oh, 
धरित्वे न समस्त शास्त्रे उपस्थाव यदी
ਜਾਇ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨ ਚੇਤਨਾ ਪ੍ਰਭੂ ਨਿਤਨੰਦ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਦਵੈਤਾ ਗਦਾਧਾ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਵਸਦੀ ਗੋਰਾ ਭਗਤ ਬਿੰਦਨ ਹਰੇ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨ ਹਰੇ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨ 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 ਹਰੇ 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 ਰਾਮ ਹਰੇ ਰਾਮ 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 ਹਰੇ 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 ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨ ਹਰੇ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨ 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 ਹਰੇ 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 ਰਾਮ ਹਰੇ ਰਾਮ 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 ਹਰੇ ਹਰੇ krishna krishna hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare ki bajayo jayo gaur chande arati kasho ਇਬਾਦ 
Sexy Sigourney Tide. Oh, my God. 
ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ಭಕ್ತಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಸುಂದರ ಗೋ ಗೋಪಿನಾಥ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಕುಂಡ ರಾಧ ಕುಂಡ ಗ್ರಿ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ ಕಿ ಜಯ ರೂಪ ಶಂದನ ಭಟ್ಟ ರಘುನಾಶಿ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಭಟ್ಟ ಶ್ರೀಮಷ್ಟ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪ್ರಭು ಕಿ ಬೃಂದಾವನ ಮಥುರ ಧಾಮ ಕಿ ಮಾಪ್ರ ಧಾಮ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ ಪೂಜಾ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಹಿಸ್ ಹೋಲಿನೆಸ್ ಜಯ ಪತಕ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ ಪೂಜಾ ಮಹಾ 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 ಉತ್ಸವ ಕಿ ಜಯ ನಿತಾಯಿ ಗೌರಿಷಿತ ನದಮನಂದೆ
Shikadev Bhagavan Ki Jai, Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai, Rizali Nishai Pataka Swami Ki Jai.